This senior had Tommy John surgery, causing him to miss the 2011 season. When he returned last year, he demonstrated his dominance in the series opener against Dayton on May 4th, 2012, throwing a complete game, three hit shutout, helping himself earn Philadelphia Big Five Co Pitcher of the Week. Playing as a redshirt senior this season, he picked up the team's first 8 10 win of the season against St. Joe's and has tossed 25 strikeouts in 11 games. Ladies and gentlemen, escorted by his parents, John and Lynn Moeller, please welcome to the field left handed pitcher number 13, Dan Moeller. and took over the leadoff spot for the Owls, where he has 81 hits in 82 career games as a member of the Cherry and White. In his first season, he started 49 games and had 53 hits, while playing mostly in the outfield. This senior blessed one home run in each of his two years with the Owls, both coming against Big Five rival LaSalle. Coming into this season, he carried over a four-game on base streak and extended it to 32 straight games before being held off the base path in the series opener against VCU. Before having his senior season come to an abrupt end at Rhode Island, there were only seven games in which he did not reach base in his entire career at Temple. Ladies and gentlemen, escorted by his parents, Kareen and Joseph Keha, and his nephew, Jason, please welcome to the field, shortstop number three, Jordan Keha. and worked his way to become the club's everyday left fielder. Last season, he played in 30 games, including 22 starts. His most productive game in a cherry and white uniform came at UMass last season, where he recorded three RBIs, including the game tying and game-winning hits. As a senior, he has 41 hits and leads a team in the A-10 season with 338 batting average. Ladies and gentlemen, escorted by his parents, Richard and Lou Stiles, please welcome to the field, left fielder number four, Ellen yes. Stiles. Our fourth senior is a HR management major from North Brunswick, New Jersey. A year as later, a he saw an increase in playing time, enabling him to hit 288 as a sophomore. Last year, he slapped 12 doubles, led the A-10 in sacrifice flies, and had his best career game with four runs scored in a 4 for 4 day at home against Central Connecticut State. As a senior, and since taking over the starting job at second base, he, has, he is hitting a 244 since April 19th, helping him boost his season average by 153 points. Ladies and gentlemen, escorted by his parents, Jerome and Robin Yarborough, please welcome to the field, second baseman, number nine, Elijah Yarborough. from Parsippany, New Jersey. After having to take a medical venture as a freshman, this senior played just two games over the next two seasons. But in 2012, as a redshirt junior, he played the everyday starting job at first base, enabling him to play in 48 games. Last season at St. Bonaventure, he knocked in four runs in the opening game of the series and went on to bat 8 for 12 in the series, helping him to 8-10 in Big 5 Player of the Week honors. As the team's designated hitter in 2013, he led the Owls to a win in their home opener with a 3 for 4 day and two runs scored against Lafayette. Ladies and gentlemen, escorted by his parents Glenn and Teresa Elko, please welcome to the field number 18, Matt Elko. The next senior has made starts at every infield position, playing as the Owls' everyday third baseman. After making only 18 starts last season, this player has started 43 times in 2013, to which he owns a team-best 349 batting average. In Temple's come-from-behind win at Villanova back on April 30th, this senior went 3-for-3 three three with three doubles, including the game-winning hit, which was the 100th hit of his career. His consistency continued through that weekend as he finished the week hitting 571 and slug 929, with a team-high eight hits and four RBIs to earn Philadelphia Big Five Player of the Week honors. Ladies and gentlemen, escorted by his parents, Hank and Jose Canabi, cemented in the record books. A business management major and native of Glenwood, Maryland, this right-handed pitcher has made more appearances on the mound than any other pitcher in Temple history and is just one call out of the bullpen from becoming the school's first pitcher to enter 100 ball games. In his first full season, he is a he set a program record with 28 appearances, which tied him for the most in the A-10. 
As a junior, he recorded the longest outing of his career, going six and two thirds, through which he did not give up a run in the win at New Orleans. Once again, last season, he led the staff in appearances and put together two separate spans of five straight outings, in which he did not allow a run. Ladies and gentlemen, escorted by his parents, Donna and Ted Visnick, and his son, Pierce, please welcome to the field number 23, Steve Visnick. Woo! 